once a protector has stepped aside, a protector has allowed the connection between the self and the exile to happen, number one, it's important to make sure that we really stay in self, that no other parts maybe take over, because especially with an exile, that would just be very painful for that part. But then we get into the area of exile work, of really helping an exile to come out of the pain it's been carrying for so long. And in the IFS model, the first step of that is that the self, that the enough self-energy is there to witness the exile. And witnessing means two things. Number one, it means that there is a connection there. That's a big distinction to maybe other approaches of therapy that would ask people to go into the pain or to go into whatever is there. In IFS, it's really important that self and exile remain separate to some degree so that the self can witness the exile. Now, it doesn't have to be the exile is a long, long, long way ago. It can be incredibly close. It can even be that the exile is taking over the seat of consciousness to some degree that you're really feeling the pain of the exile, really getting what it was like for it, but that enough self stays there so that you can still witness it, that there's still the capacity to really be aware of what's happening and not just becoming one and all of that is being lost. The self has to be there. And in witnessing, it's about the self understanding what happened to the exile. Often it's important to understand when the exile became, became exile, what the experience was. But even more importantly than what happened is how it made the exile feel. How did whatever happened in the past, that experience of being so alone, maybe uh, the parents went out one night when the kid was sleeping and the kid woke up and the whole house was empty. And that's a, that's a bad experience, but it made the, the, the little kid feel so alone. And there was this part that's now the exile that, re that thought, oh God, I'm going to be alone for the rest of my life. And that feeling of loneliness, of fear of being alone for the rest of one's life, really understanding what that was like for that exile, how bad that experience was for the exile. Independently of the fact that the parents came back, the child wasn't alone for the rest of its life, but that that was the experience in that. That's the witnessing, that's being with the child in what it was like for it. Then when the child feels really understood and seen and felt, we can go to the next step which IFS calls reparenting or do-over. And in this step it's about the self providing the exile with an experience that it would have needed back then. So this can mean that the self and the exile return to that memory, return to that um, situation the exile was in in the past and helping it get what it would have needed. Maybe it would have needed somebody to be there, to hold it, somebody to tell it you're not going to be alone in your whole, for your whole life. Just going back into that situation or also giving that part of us what it would have needed then right now. So if the part would have needed somebody to be there for it, somebody to be in connection with it, giving that to the part in this moment, letting it really feel I am there, the self is present, you are heard, you are felt, because that's so often what this part would have needed, somebody to be there, an adult, a self to be there, and we can provide that to it right now. So after we've understood what the pain is, it's about seeing can we give the part what it would have needed, either in a more imaginary going to the memory way or in a way of can we give that to the part now, can we hold the part right now so that it can feel 
that it's not alone. And then, based on that, the next step, and you might notice that each of these steps bring the part closer towards the self, closer towards self-energy. The next step could be asking the part if it wants to be retrieved from that old situation. So if the part that's been stuck in that place, so with an exile it's literally that the exile is stuck in that experience of the past because they cannot um, process, they cannot digest what happened back then, it's like they're stuck in time, they're frozen in time and they experience that loneliness, they are in that place. Maybe this part felt and thought like it's been in that empty house all this time since it's been a baby for 35 years or 50 years and, the, and we in this session can ask it, do you want to be retrieved from there? Do you want to come to me now or go to a place in, in imagination that you would be more happy? Or it could even be, um, should we change this place? Should there be other people with you? So we can really change that situation in such a way that the part is not stuck in that place anymore. That it doesn't have to be in that frozen place, but it can be, for instance, coming into the present where the self takes it in, takes it into the body, takes it into the apartment it's living in now, uh, the person is living in now. It can be in an imaginary place where it has lots of other child parts to play with. Whatever that part wants can be the retrieving of the part from the past. That's the step that comes after we've reparented it after we've done the do-over we can ask it to retrieve and then we come to a step that I find incredibly unique and that goes back to that um, insight that the part is not the burden and that step is called unburdening so when the child part when the exile has realized oh that situation is over I'm not stuck in that place anymore. I even got what I needed. I felt connected. And we can ask the part where the burden is it's carrying. Because the experience with IFS has been that these parts literally carry a burden. Since that time they have had something stuck in them and it's usually stuck somewhere in their body. So for instance, this part could have that loneliness that loneliness stuck in their heart, where their heart is heavy, as if they have a thousand kilo iron ball stuck in their heart. And where that thought that, oh God, it's never going to get better, where that's been stuck in their head. So that's literally when you ask the part, where has the burden been stuck in your body? You usually get an answer in your felt sense, but also in the part. It's been stuck in a very specific place in their body. And in unburdening, we can offer to the part, are you ready to let go of that pain? Are you ready to let go of that loneliness and of that fear that you're going to be alone for the rest of your life? And if the steps before have been done correctly and enough, so we've really witnessed the part, we've helped it to come out of that situation, to experience what it needed to experience now, usually the part is ready to let go of that old burden. And then we can do a little ritual. In IFS it's usually letting it go into one of the f five elements of water, air, water, <laughs> water, air, fire, um, ground, or even the ether letting it go into one of those elements and the part can just um, let it, let the burden be taken from him. But not by giving it to somebody else, but by letting it dissolve into nature, by letting it dissolve back into life where it's not a burden anymore, where nobody is burdened with it, but the part can just let go. And what then happens is that usually the part naturally transforms. When that 
old heavy burden is taken, that the part will realize the positive qualities it was supposed to have, they will kind of come back. And that's what I call integration in this model. And as you may be able to see, um, this is where the part and the self-energy integrate a little bit. So the natural capacities, the natural state of the part will come back and the part will uh, realize what it was meant to be. Those qualities, those essences of the part, they will just return. They will come back. And um, with that, the part will be able to take its natural place as a resource in our life, as a healthy place, healthy part of us, a healthy part in our psyche. It will just naturally take that place. And that's when this um, exile will be integrated again. And Integration has an additional step, which is once this part realizes, yay, I'm uh, not exiled anymore, usually they, there is a natural happiness, joy, aliveness, love coming with that, whatever the exact quality of this part is. And when the protector that was once protecting this part realizes that, when these two, the transformed uh, happy elephant, and the protector meet, and the protector realizes, wow, the part is not in pain anymore. The part is healed, and it's freed from that old burden. Usually, this protector can just let go of its role. Whatever it was doing before, when it was still protecting, it realizes, I don't have to do that anymore. And this protector will just let go of its role as well, and either take a more healthy part of the psyche, become where before it was, for instance, a procrastinator, it will become a part that's actually about real rest. Or this part says, I need a break. <laughs> that's an answer that comes quite regularly. I need a break. After all of us, uh, I need some time off. Um, and it just takes a break, whatever. The thing that is fascinating about it is if this unburdening, if the part returned to its um, positive qualities, if that really happened and this part really realized that, the pattern, the feelings, the actions that this part was responsible for and the pain we were carrying before, they are gone. And there is a new possibility and a new way of being that can find its way into our life based on that transformation. And that transformation is really what is at the core of IFS therapy because once this part realizes I don't have to protect anymore, it won't take over anymore. It can actually do something else. It can become a healthy part. If this part returns to its healthy capacity, it can be a normal part in our flow of the psyche. And the self, having facilitated that, will actually naturally um, create more trust within the whole system. Other parts will witness this and they will start to trust the self more. So there will be more self-leadership. There will be more quality of self in our life because the self is actually growing stronger through this work and the parts that trust the self will also trust the self even more. So this is the natural flow of the IFS method and it really comes down to starting with a problem, finding out which part is creating that problem, focusing inward, really learning about that part. Then through feeling towards making sure that the connection is there between the self and the part learning about what is its intention, what is it trying to protect, what are the fears it has. And through that, coming into connection with the old pain, the old pain the part is protecting. And through the connection between the self and the part, 
being able to heal that part, retrieve it, unburdening uh, it, and then reintegrating it as a healthy part of the psyche so that the self and the more healthy parts can find a natural way of living life that isn't focused on protecting this old pain anymore, but that's rather focused on the natural capacities of each of us finding a way into life in a healthy way.